Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and I know I haven't been making videos uh, lately. I, the last upload was like two weeks ago now. But I haven't really had time. It was like really hot and stuff. And um, But yeah, now I'm back. Um, now I've found time to be able to record a video. Um, previously in Wind Waker, we... Um, we defeated the boss of the Dragon Roost Cavern, and now I'm actually going to be going to the next location that we have to go to. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place, but that would mean there is no time to lose. We must depart at once to the place where, for the place where the next Pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. So he's saying that there's no time to waste. I guess there is if Link won't jump in the boat. Um, um, why can't I get in the boat? I really hope this isn't a glitch. Okay. No. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't let us get back into the boat until we can actually uh, make the wind go south. Anyway, um... I, I did, before recording this episode, I actually did some, uh, extra stuff, um, in a recording which will be on screen now, and then this recording, uh, if there's any dialogue, I'm actually gonna have this, uh, in the top left corner, or bottom left corner maybe, I don't know, but, um, anyway... Now I'm going to start talking about um, what I did in between episodes. So basically, there's this mini game that, um, oh, dialogue. Oh, here's the fish. Oh, I hold it right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on your, that sea chart you got there, but it looks like to me like it's pretty much got nothing but C's drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a C chart if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that, uh, stupid fight. Look, makes you <laughs> look, makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your SE chart and make it snappy. So this one here is free. Do, 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 do. The ocean is really pretty. It is a real peculiar cave toward the back side of this dragon roof island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you've managed to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I, I will do this for you since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the great sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you see a ne sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. 
See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for your things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. Or you don't if you're a speedrunner. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll be just a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Oi, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm gone, you take care of the rest. Okay, now I can talk about that stuff that I was doing. By the way, the ocean is like really pretty, but it doesn't pick up how bright blue it is on the recording, just on my TV. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, wait, how many? Um, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back here. So, basically what happened is I, um, basically showed that one item that was in that chest that I left over. Which turned out to be a, um... A treasure chart. And I also showed how you can actually farm, uh, items from enemies by using the grappling hook. As besides that, I also, um, I wonder where Beetle is. I also, um, oh, there's Beetle. I also showed off a um, mini game, which eventually will allow you to get a really nice item that I highly recommend that you uh, play if you can. Um,. I'm gonna get some more bait. I now have four um, packages of three all purpose bait. So that's good. Where is my boat? It's nice that your boat kind of goes back here. Um, You can use the grappling hook to steal items from enemies without having to defeat them first. This allows you to farm items such as joy pendants from bokoblins if you re-enter the room before using the grappling hook a second time. Otherwise, you'll just get a green rupee, a heart, something else, or nothing. When you kill them after stealing their item with the grappling hook, you'll just get a green rupee instead. The first time through Dragonur's Cavern, there is a chest that you can't reach until you get the grappling hook. To reach it, you have to grab the boko stick, the bokoblin that jumps out of the pot holds, light it on the nearby lantern torch, and throw it at the wood in front of the chest, then grapple over there. This chest contains a treasure chart. There's another tunnel in the block puzzle room that I didn't show, and it contains a few rupees. Pause if you need to and notice how the tunnel exits are in different positions. While backtracking through the dungeon, I had some trouble. This minigame is a mail sorting minigame. In order to complete this one, you have to beat three scores. First 10, then 20, and finally 25. Then you beat 25 points a second time. If you don't get to 25 points, you'll be given either one rupee per two letters, 
or one rupee per one letter. As I don't know the minimum score, it would be best to get at least 10 letters if you want to earn money from this minigame. If you've already gotten 25 points and Beto is working there, the previous Rito Postman will be on the left side of the counter if you want to play again. But we gotta go to this island right here. Ooh, these guys. You want to talk to these guys? Unless you're a speedrunner. No. Yo! Yo. Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the sea floor, too, aren't you? <laughs> Ha ha ha! You won't get any from us, bub. No, not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who waters around on a fish, fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. Maybe some other things that I've never even heard of. <laughs> the king of red lions just kind of has his head in the uh, back of the boat. Um, I don't think that's um, how the model was before hmm, looks strange you know with all the weak I with all the weak island dwellers who never seem to leave their shores I'm amazed to see such a tiny guy out here I'll I like your style bub I feel like I've known you my whole life so hey bub tell me what you want what tell you what as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just take it. And we get a treasure chart. First, press up on the D-pad to open your C-chart. Then push Y to check your special charts. You search for treasure by comparing the specific island charts. The reward for getting at least 25 points on the third round is 75 rupees, which is nice. Yeah, those grappling hooks. Nothing pulls up stuff like those things. Well, little treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Okay, uh, what? Oh yeah, that's a place that we're not going until much later. Well, I say much later. Actually, I can check the charts now. Um, treasure chart 11, which is that island, and treasure chart 34. On 39, and that's it. Other than Tingle's chart. <gasps> Just go. Just go. Just keep going. <gasps> so glad that those enemies can't um, shoot you with laser beams. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, that's pretty stressful. But nothing beats guardians. Ooh.
We're almost there, actually. Oh, and you know what? Since this is right here, I'm actually going to head right here. What's the... Oh, I never heard the, uh... I never noticed that there was, um... Jaws style dun 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 in music in the background to the da 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 But what's even nicer is that if you get at least 25 points a second time once Beto is working there, you'll get a letter that you can put into the mailbox on Dragon Roost Island and receive a piece of heart when you arrive at the next island we're going to visit today. So yeah, basically what this is, is a, um, a, uh, battle, a battle submarine. We all live in a battle submarine. Copyright strikes. Nobody likes those. So I'm gonna stop singing that song. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to break this thing. I don't really know what these are called. Those orb things. Oh, perfect. We got an empty bottle. I, um, I actually didn't, I don't think I got this empty bottle until much later in the game. And up there, is there anything up there? Oops. There may be something up there. But I'm gonna basically, oh, a pot. Forget Ganondorf, Link's, pots are Link's worst, or, um, pots are Link's, uh, Worst enemy, I guess. I don't really know. I'll be outside. <sighs> yeah, I want you to listen to the music that plays when there's an enemy around. I'll sail toward this area now. Ooh, it's storming. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I really hope that one enemy doesn't show up. I hope it's storming because it's 
supposed to and not because of that one enemy that shows up when it's storming. Ugh. Oh, okay, it's done. There we go, okay. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside of this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Je Deku tree. You must speak with the great with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Furore's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. And see this dancing post box? Push A on it, and um, it'll say, Good evening, ladies for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Um, to my son, Superior, thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope that you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness towards my son, Kashiko, Beto's mother. So basically, if you're not sure what that letter was for, it was basically for doing the 25 letter sort the second time, you get a um, letter for his mom, then you put it in the mailbox, and then later you get a piece of art in a return letter. And this is the fourth piece, so we get an extra heart container. Yay! Which is very nice to have for... Oh wait, that would be because of... Um, ah. Not much in Beetle's shop ship right now. That would be because um, of the heart, the heart container that we got earlier. So up here are things called... Um, I don't know. But anyway, for... Doing this, we get a Boko Baba seed. Um, well, these are Boko Babas. So basically, if you collect enough of these, there's a potion shop inside of here. And you, uh, and it's like very worth your time. Um, as we won't be getting, um, enough of something, enough of the, uh, um, item that would otherwise be required to get this specific potion until much later in the game on the Windfall Island, uh, Potion Brewery. There's another one up here. No, we can't. Octorox. I guess they're not going to do anything. So we got to go over here. Apparently in Wind Waker HD you can actually just kind of uh, go across there. You can just, uh, you don't have to, um, stop and, like, turn around and stuff. You can just kind of, um, jump, rotate, and, um, Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, I'll be back.
Okay, so there is a um uh thing up here that you have to, or a tree branch that you have to um uh grapple onto. But I think after this um short cutscene, I think this might be the end of this episode. And I'll continue on in episode 15. Goodbye for now. Thank you.